So you're thinking about making a move to San Diego or within San Diego if you're already here, and you want to know about some of the lesser known neighborhoods in San Diego County. Sure, we all know about La Jolla and Mission Beach, downtown Carlsbad, but there are a lot of hidden gems out there with a lot to offer. In terms of housing options, entertainment, restaurants, culture, you name it, there are so many great areas. And in this video, we're gonna dive into a number of these hidden gem neighborhoods that you are often likely overlooking, or there's just not enough information out there about them. Our job here is to get you clarity among all of them so you have more options and you know exactly what's going on in San Diego County. So if that's what you're looking for, stick with us, because in this video, we're gonna get after that right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about eating, sleeping, playing, being in San Diego, and everything, all the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between, then this is the channel for you. Make sure you subscribe and also tap that bell for notifications. You'll be among the very first to know of any changing market conditions across San Diego County. I'm Dan Beer, and every single day, people just like you are sending us text messages, emails, phone calls, and also setting up Zoom calls where we are walking through anything that has to do with your potential move within the county. So if that's you, whether it's in nine days, in nine months, in nine years, we absolutely love it. The timing is irrelevant. We just want to help make it easy for you. So remember, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications, and in the description of this video, you're going to find every possible way to get a hold of us. And with that, we'll help you make a smooth move within San Diego. Let's kick this off in University Heights, which is located just east, northeast a bit of Hillcrest, which of course is east of Mission Hills. And the main throughway, the main street for University Heights being Park Avenue. Park Avenue eventually hitting Adams Avenue, if you take Adams Avenue out east, you'll eventually connect into Normal Heights and then into Kensington, all amazing neighborhoods, and of course with North Park to the south of it. So University Heights is an amazing place. It's kind of like just tucked in there, and because it has these, these um, neighborhoods that are just so well-known, kind of just bigger persona neighborhoods like North Park, like Hillcrest, you often gets overlooked. But if you go and spend a day going up and down Park Avenue, you will have every, like it's, hard to describe just how awesome it is in terms of how eclectic it is from a from the perspective of the type of cuisine you'll find, the shopping you'll find, the nightlife. It's vibrant. I have spent so more time than I can describe in these restaurants, in the nightlife there. And you have anything from like old kind of staple restaurants like Park House, which by the way is one of the best breakfasts you're going to get anywhere in San Diego County. So I definitely would recommend it and you could have something like that. Or you could be at one of the longest standing Ethiopian restaurants in San Diego County. It is an awesome spot, all there right on Park Avenue, and then some really hot nightlife sp spots that just are put together with more flair than most of what you're gonna find in other neighborhoods. It has a bohemian vibe with a very great, a great mix of different types of residents, including artists. It's just, it's a fun place everything from professionals to you know just people right out of school and people that have been there for 50, 60 years and enjoying like just the way this place has changed in such a positive, really, really fun way. The location, by the way, is just a short drive to downtown, probably about, oh, I don't know, less than 10 minutes, which also gives it about that proximity to the freeway, or excuse me, to the airport. So it's just well located. And then because you can swing over to the 163 and get north right to the eight, That'll then give you access to everything all the way into East County, all the way out to the beach if you're going west, of course. And you can also hop on the 15 and run your way north or you could, it just has a really great central location. If by the way, also you wanna access the border, you wanna get down to Chula Vista, you wanna, you know, it was just yesterday that I had lunch in Tijuana, which is an extension of San Diego, University Heights has really, really easy freeway access to get north, south, east, west. And so it just has a privileged location in that respect. From a parks and rec standpoint, you have Trolley Barn Park, which is kind of a central green space. It's a nice space that you can gather at, have picnics, there's basketball courts, gatherings, birthday parties. So that's just a really good space there as well. So if you want a colorful neighborhood to go enjoy, and even if you don't live there, by the way, you might choose a completely different part of San Diego, but University Heights should absolutely be on your radar if you want to add just some richness to your experience of living here in San Diego. All right, second neighborhood we're gonna explore is Old Town. Let's jump over to one of the very first settlements in San Diego County. In fact, it's often referred to as the birthplace of California, not just San Diego, because it's where the European missionaries first settled here as they came up through the South 
in, uh, in 1769. So it has a ton of history. And it's the type of place that's not just n n like called Old Town or known as Old Town, but the moment you're there, you're, you know it. This is clearly has some history, which is a nice in a place like San Diego too, because again, you may choose to live in Old Town, you may choose to live somewhere else. And in fact, most people, of course, do live somewhere else. But a lot of you know San Diego living can be kind of um, you know, suburban, it's a little bit, right, like built since 1952 now, while you go back over to Old Town and suddenly you're accessing like 1800s and you can just feel that it's a different place. Tons, uh, you know, known for all of its Mexican restaurants, just some of the best Mexican food in town. And you just have this big, great street full of Mexican restaurants surrounded by all of these kind of just old buildings and missionary uh, establishments and just culture. It's almost a the entire thing is almost kind of its own museum. And of course, there are some museum exhibits to go and see that tap into that history. By the way, just quickly before we move off the restaurant scene, I should also mention that one of the county's number one best, like, you know, not argued about uh, best sushi spots is in Old Town. In fact, it's one of the only, it's about three Michelin star restaurants in San Diego, and that's one of them. Go check out that spot, by the way. It's called Sushi Tadakoro, and it is bomb. Old Town San Diego, at the end of the day, is steeped in history. It is one of the very significant cultural spots in all of California. Now, let's talk about festivals and events because this is a vibrant place. It's a place that San Diegans kind of take little, you know, in-town vacations to. And there are two festivals that I definitely think you want to be aware of. Number one is you want a big Cinco de Mayo, like the Cinco de Mayo maybe in, possibly in the United States. It's there. So head over to Old Town for that. It's amazing. And then also, Dia de los Muertos, right? The Day of the Dead, that it's, which is another big Mexican celebration. And it's, my, it's worth mentioning, San Diego as a whole, and of course you feel it in Old Town more than anywhere else, this was actually part of Mexico. So at one point, Old Town, when it was all settled, was part of Mexico, of course, controlled by the Spanish. So if you're a history buff, if you like that kind of thing, it's, it's not the sort of place where you show up and you're like, hey, everything's been modernized. Where did it all go? You're going to see it right away. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to eat well. You're going to drink well. So go have fun in Old Town, San Diego. All right, let's jump out to a totally different place. We've kind of been in that metro area within San Diego. We're going out now for our third neighborhood to Poway. Poway is up the 15 located about 30 or so minutes from downtown San Diego, from the airport, up the 15, which is a little bit kind of our eastern border, right? Here we talk a lot about, hey, are you west of the 15, east of the 15? And Poway does take place east of the 15, right off of it. And the reason that I've chosen this to share with you is if you're attracted to Southern California for its terrain, for its mountains, for its outdoor spaces. And God knows that we have some of the most beautiful, beautiful geography anywhere in the country, right here in Southern California, and really up and down California. I mean, it's a glorious state. Poway gives you direct access to all of that. In fact, literally today, I, dr I went to Poway specifically to have a hamburger at one of the county's best hamburger spots called Wagyu Burger. So, your, or Swagoo Burger. Go check that thing out. But anyway, back to why Poway is really awesome is you might be looking for a place to kind of make home. You might be looking for schools that you know are, are gonna be really, really awesome and great for your kids. You might be looking for a place that's just a community, a neighborhood, a place that you're gonna maybe spend the next 15 or 20 years in and grow, you know, watch your children grow up in, and that's Poway. Just some cool things that come to mind for me about it is it's for a long time had one of the big, one of the best wrestling programs at the high school anywhere in the country. Iowa is of course known for wrestling, but Poway has an extremely competitive program. Great, also really, really well known for its football team, its baseball team. So just great athletics. And again, some of this, the, just the outdoor spaces are awesome. It also is home to, by the way, one of the um, most respected, most beautiful, and you wanna talk like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful golf courses in all of Southern California. It's called Madeiras. In fact, that's actually where I got married. I got married at Madeiras, and it's just this unbelievable, like rolling hills, perfectly manicured, has an almost private feel to it, but it is a public course that you can access. So I encourage you, whether you choose Poway to be your home or not, get out there, play around, and if you're not a golfer, at least go have a burger there. Their Wednesday burger night is awesome. Before we break away from Poway, I just also want to mention to all of my hiking friends, you know, I'm a big hiker. In fact, if you ever want to hike with me, send us a message, reply right here in the comments. And we're looking to put together a group that we take to different parts of San Diego. Would love to have you join me. But 
Iron Mountain is probably the nicest, most beautiful hike in Poway. It's not very challenging, so it's kind of a place that's awesome if you want to do some mountain running because it has just the right pitch for that. That also, if you want to wake up and watch a sunrise in really just, it's, it's hard to describe, and hopefully we can get a picture on here for you, of just what it looks like from Iron Mountain in a beautiful morning or at a sunrise. It, it's awesome. Or excuse me, at a sunset as well. Definitely sunrise, though. I'm the biggest fan of that. Um, I would encourage you to get out there and at least do it once. That's called Iron Mountain. All right, now let's shift gears. And for the next neighborhood that I want to share with you, it, we're going to go out west. So just north and definitely west of Poway, all the way there on the water, is Solana Beach. And this is the kind of place where if you mention Solana Beach, whether you say, hey, I live in Solana Beach, or whether you say, well, what you do, you know, someone asks you, what did you do yesterday? How was your weekend? You say, well, I spent it in Solana Beach. You'll watch them go like, Wow, awesome, right? And it's not because it has the panache or whatever of you know the prestige of La Jolla, of Del Mar. It's kind of because it's got something that those places don't. It's like if you spent your time in Solana Beach, it's because you're in the know and you also got away from the crowds and you were not just there because you said, hey, we spent our time in La Jolla, but rather you were somewhere that's absolutely beautiful, just as beautiful as any of those previously mentioned, but just more local more local, more real, and you walked, and it, there's a street called Cedros. Cedros is a place that it's worth walking up and down. First of all, because they're just kind of little tucked away coffee shops, and if you're into that sort of thing, it's a really nice way to kill a few hours and just be outside and bump into some nice people. There's also some really nice restaurants on Cedros, but it, even just the diversity of it, like you could be during the day doing that sort of thing, even jumping into some showrooms because it's a lot of the really big kind of mansions, custom homes out there across San Diego County and its most expensive areas. A lot of the showrooms for appliances and fixtures and all that, they're in Solana Beach right there on Cedros along with some really nice furniture stores. But then as the night comes down on you, you might, you might bump or hop into a place called the Belly Up. And the Belly Up is a classic music venue. I think San Diego really has two classic music venues that are on the small side of what will still attract a big performer. And so the other one being the Casbah. And in fact, there's even that famous song right about the Casbah. So that one's downtown. The Belly Up is just a place where you might see one of your favorite artists or an old artist that maybe has come down a little bit that is super nostalgic for you. Of course, it could also very much be an up and comer and you're just in a really nice kind of intimate space where you end up telling the story years later, like, hey, you wouldn't believe where I saw, you know, XYZ band. I, I got to see them at the belly up while everyone else is now having to see them in like a 20,000 person arena. So that's uh, it's a great place. Also just has some wonderful beaches that you'll of course want to be at. Um, the racetrack, the famed racetrack in San Diego County, they call it the Del Mar racetrack, but it's right there on the border of Solana Beach. So even if not officially a part of Solana, it is very much right there. It's right on the border. To the north of Solana Beach, you have Cardiff, Cardiff by the sea. And then from there, you get into Encinitas. So you just have this really great stretch of beach. And of course, to the south of it, you have Del Mar. Now, before we let Solana Beach go, let's do a quick little food tour because suddenly there's, it seems like it has some of the best eating experiences in the county. So number one, if you're looking for like that foo-foo white, you know, tablecloth, top of the line, like perfect restaurant, not my scene by the way, but if that's what you're looking for, Pamplemousse. Pamplemousse has been there for years. It is still said to be absolutely top of the line. You'll want to go there. Careful, it's really, really expensive. Next to Pamplemousse, you'll find the Red Tractin. Red Tractin is delicious. It has its kind of just interesting, almost like burlesque sort of vibe, but it's a place where you'll see, you know, guys like me, I'll go with my dad and we like to go have a father-son steak there and you're going to see people on their date nights and there's a piano person and it's kind of a, it's a scene for everybody. So go to the Red Tract and the other though, once you get out kind of more into the core of Solana Beach, that's more on the edge. Once you get out there, I'm just gonna rattle off a bunch for you, you know, bookmark this video and you'll wanna come back to it. You'll wanna get to Station Sushi, Pizza Port, like there's now Pizza Port in different parts of San Diego. That's where it started. That is the original, get over there. For breakfast on a Sunday, you want an awesome brunch, you probably have to wait in line, go to Claire's. Claire's is awesome. If you want a just view that makes you feel like, wow, this is San Diego, go to the Brigantine, sit on the balcony over, overlooking the Del Mar racetrack, overlooking the ocean. You can't, it's really, really hard to beat. And then for Mexican food, you can get out to Fidel's. 
or Tony the Calls, and you're gonna end up arguing. There's like this Fidel's versus Tony the Calls are right next door to each other, and you'll just, it's kind of like a Mexican food war there. They're both awesome, they're both really good. And it's just, a, I mean, beyond everything I just mentioned, there are so many others, there's a ton. So go enjoy that. Um, Solana Beach is a really, really awesome place. Now the challenge to living in Solana Beach, is just worth mentioning, home prices are definitely on the, on the high side. So get ready, right? You have, definitely have to have an above average budget to be in Solana Beach. And it's not a huge area. So there's, there's only X amount of homes that are ever gonna be available at any given time. My advice to you though, is that if it's in your budget and you find the right property in Solana Beach, and you've never heard me say this on any other video, jump on it. All right, here it is. And taking us into the end of this video is finally La Mesa. In La Mesa, hold, stick with me, okay? Because if you're a long-term resident hearing this, you say La Mesa, you might be thinking, what's this guy talking about? My answer to you back would be, when's the last time you went? Because if you get out to downtown La Mesa right now, I would challenge you to find a more vibrant, filled with life, people walking, restaurant after restaurant after coffee shop after bar, just, I mean, it's a great scene in downtown La Mesa. Now there's a negative to it, it's harder to park there than ever before, but you will be amazed at how much has been developed, how much has happened there, it's awesome. So I definitely recommend it. And from a living perspective, which at the end of the day, this whole channel is about living in San Diego, from a living perspective, La Mesa has some of the most affordable real estate in a nicely like developed area that's not you know out in the fringe. So it's something that if you're looking or in any way, shape, or form care about affordability, you'd want to get out there. So how do you access La Mesa? Well, it's located on the most western part of what we call East County. So it's located off the eight. And it just it has a really, really good location because it is so easy to get to the 8 freeway. And when you get to the 8, now you can swing over to the 15 north or south, or you could keep going west and access the 163 north or south, tuck right into downtown, or you can keep going all the way west and hit the beach. So La Mesa is a place that, you know, definitely um, you want to go and take a look at. It also has some charter schools, so there's gonna be some options for you, not just in the public, the traditional public school system, but also in the charter schools that are there available. And it's a place that will give you more affordability, more options than a lot of other areas in San Diego. And some of whom which are even more expensive than La Mesa, but with less kind of just going on, less, less, less if you're into the food and kind of just having that sort of thing out there, right? The shopping, the downtown kind of vibe it is a real village. It's like a real neighborhood that has some walkability to it once you get into that area of La Mesa. So I go, I encourage you to get out there, take a look at it. Guys, this is the video where I'm just trying to highlight some little talked about neighborhoods that can make a big impact on your happiness when you're living here in San Diego. You might already be here. We'll get out to some of these, enjoy them, right? These are all amenities to every one of us. And that's the thing about San Diego is there are so many great places to live and you're only gonna live in one at a time. But it's when those of us that make uh, use of it all, we have just such a, a more full experience of being here. And if you're making the move to San Diego, make sure that you go and consider these because when you're just on any typical you know, search or talk, you're talking to whoever it might be, they may not mention these neighborhoods that are very much worth looking at. So this has been a look at that. Remember, make sure you subscribe to the channel, tap the bell for notifications, and open up the, the description to this video where you'll find a number of ways to get a hold of us, including a very direct access to setting up a Zoom call where we can talk about your personal situation and make the move easy for you. Helping you make a smooth move to San Diego or within San Diego, we'll see you on the next video.